Hello, I am Gail Loeb, Product Manager at Avantis. In this short video, we will demonstrate how you can use the relative irradiance mode in Avasoft. Using a spectrometer in scope mode gives you spectral information regarding the light measured. However, in scope mode, this is uncorrected raw data. Spectrally, this data is correct, but on the intensity axis, the information is not weighted. This means that if a peak at 545 nanometers is 5 times as high as a peak at 400 nanometers, that there is actually not 5 times more energy at 545. This is due to the detector response curve and optical properties of the mirrors, filters and fibers used. To indicate the difference, you now see a picture of the raw data of a broadband spectrometer looking at a halogen source. And on the next picture, what the spectrum should actually look like. If one is only interested in the spectral information, or one uses the absorption, transmission or reflection mode, this is not a problem, because taking a dark and white reference eliminates these effects. If intensity information is important to be weighted, it is possible to have an irradiance calibration done on your spectrometer system and view the spectrum in the IA mode, which stands for Absolute Irradiance Mode. However, if one wants to save these additional costs for calibration, but needs to know the intensity relationships relative to each other, the Relative Irradiance Mode can offer you a solution. In this mode, one can intensity calibrate a spectrometer system the following way. Have your system look at a halogen light source, preferably with a color temperature of 2850 Kelvin for accurate results. Optimize your spectrometer settings. Switch off the light source and take a dark. Switch on the light source and take a white reference. Switch to relative irradiance mode. Different to the other modes, this does not set the line to a straight 100% or 0% line, but sets your data to a typical halogen curve belonging to this light source. This concludes the relative irradiance mode in Avasoft. We hope you will find this tutorial useful. Please check out our other videos as well.